Yo, what's up, everyone? I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Pen Vest deck, baby. Today's video, I'm gonna showcase you guys the new Pendulum Meta Breaking deck that I've just created. And that is Abyss Dweller Turbo, Pendulum, Zephra, Zodiac. A deck that is a bunch of one card starters that end on Dweller, Dryden, Divine Strike, Jackal, Master, Mascarena that destroy your opponent. It's made to destroy the meta. And hey, let me tell you guys something as well. You can search Purple Poison, and Purple Poison destroys Vanity Ruler. Let's go, baby. So, you guys are ready for this video? Smash the subscribe button, and let's go. <laughs> This is gonna be a super long video, so we're gonna go super, super fast with this. Let's get it, boys. Get your beautiful trip game playmat on tripgaming.com. Stick to the game plan and let's get it. We're starting this right now. First and foremost, Servant, Triple Abductor, Triple Mastery. You're playing Zephra, Magician, Zodiac. All these engines play infinity spell cards. And not just, they don't count as one counter, they count as three counters. Terraform counts as three counters. Duelist Alliance counts as three counters. Zephra search card, Poverty search as three counters. They all count as three counters. So when you combine them with all these seven, this card becomes Exodia, baby. Let's go. So after th this is the best card in the deck. Obviously, you want to open any of these seven. If you don't, you still win. That's fine. Next, we're the Zephyr Engine. So you're gonna play Triple Zephrath, Triple Zephyr Providence, Triple Oracle of Zephra, and a Terraforming. So yes, you would think that this is a lot, obviously, because you don't want to open too many of them. But you are playing Abyss Dweller Turbo, and the idea of these cards is that. Yes, typically you only want to search the Zephyrath, but in this version, you want to search out the level 4 Zephyra as well, which is Zephyra Thubin. So you don't only want to search your Zephyr Nui, but also your Zephyr Thubin, because Zephyr Thubin is a level 4, and you're playing Dweller Turbo. So playing multiple Zephyr cards like this are totally fine, because you just end up searching another level 4. And the Zephyr cards search you, uh, the level 4 is also a good utility card to clear interruptions going second. Next, the good Pendulum Magicians. I'll show the, the, these are just the best engine cards so far. I'll show you guys the, the ones that aren't as great a little later, like the Zephyr Nui and stuff. I just want to show you the most broken cards you want to add first. These are all your starters. So these are, you have nine ways into your Harmonizing Magician. You are playing a 50 card deck, not 40. Hence, drawing multiples of a pen call doesn't matter. It's fine. And so far, if you look at the deck, all these cards are one card starters. Two card starters. All these cards are so crazy good to draw. And these are nine more auto wins. Harmonizing is a one card dweller. And as I said, one, one dweller in this format obliterates the meta. When you look into your side deck, the side deck consists of a bunch of one card outlets that destroy the entire meta with one card. For example, Droll, Dimension Shifter. And all these cards do not affect the way we built this deck. We built this deck so it doesn't even care about Droll. The, uh, sorry, it doesn't care about your own D-Shifter. It does care about Droll. Let's pray our opponent doesn't have it. But we have our out to that in the side deck. Because Droll's ass anyways. Let's go. We also have lots of ways to stop it. So you just want to have as many one-card interruptions as possible. Because once you stop your opponent, as long as you have like a Dweller or something like that protected, you win. You auto-win. Your opponent can't do anything. Next, our Zodiac Engine. So, Dweller is great, obviously, yes. But Dweller does not hurt Zodiacs. <laughs> And Zodiac is a pretty big engine. So being able to play uh, out to Zeus is very good in the Dryden. And the fact that all these cards are spell counters for your servant and abductor are massive. And you could do very cool plays with this engine. I will show the, these cool plays on Patreon. So if you want to go check it out, you can go sign them now down below. But one of the examples of the cool plays, we do a lot of these on Patreon, is instead of going just Dryden Pass, the idea is to go into Chaka 9, sorry, into, into Dryden first. So you go into Dryden first, use Dryden to pop your Oracle of Zephyr, or you protect it with your Time Star, or you pop your own Tanky, get the card in the graveyard, you Chaka 9 summon it out, tie, tie, Chaka 9 summon back to Dryden, Tiger put a material under the Dryden, and now you have free uh, Link material to play with, and that one Link material is the difference between winning and losing, because that Link material could equal a Mascarena, a Selene, etc. And I'm telling you, man, this engine together with Pendulums are so good, it doesn't conflict. You, like, you just Pendulum summon it out, whether you use your normal summon or not, you just pendulum summon it or normal summon it. You only play one normal summon in this deck, so you can normal summon it freely if you want to. Speaking of the normal summon of the deck, you just play one blue boy, one secrets, one knowledge. I do recommend still playing it. Like I said, you pendulum summon the Zodiacs out most of the time. And you just want to still be able to get all your draw cards going. Speaking of draw cards, we're going to play five more draw cards here in Triple Desires, Upstart, and Into the Void. A lot of people would not want to play 
desires than Zephyrah because you could banish your Zephyr Nui. But this is Dweller Turbo. You don't even care if you're even if you only play one trap. If the trap gets banished, you literally don't care. You are specifically playing Dweller Turbo. And for the Dex's format, the Dweller does not hurt. You're you're putting up more than enough interruptions to stop them because every deck that this that's played in this format, the Dweller doesn't hurt is just not a good deck. And then one proxy, Magician Souls, because I don't own Magician Souls. I would highly advise playing the Magician Souls if possible, thanks to your Tanky, your Zephyrus, and all that. So I would advise uh, to play it. So, so far, those are 42 cards in the deck. We are playing 50. I want you guys to see something right now very beautiful, okay? Aside from my face, which you can get on TripGaming.com, I want you guys to see this, okay? So look at every single card in this deck. Every single card in this deck is such an amazing starter. Look at this. Do you see one bad starter in this deck? Every single card that you guys seen so far is so amazing to open and so amazing to have in your hand. And you're playing 42 of these cards. If you look at trash decks like Virtual World, which only have like six good cards to open, Desires and Lulu. Aside from that, they don't have any good cards. You have 42 cards in your deck that are great one card starters or two card starters that combine together into your five card hand that you actually play with. is such an unbreakable board. Uh, so you play those 42 cards are absolutely amazing to play. The synergy is incredible. And the biggest part of this deck that I love so much is, unlike other Pendulum decks, this deck can actually destroy Drytron going second very easily, thanks to our good friend Purple Poison. So I don't know if you guys remember, back when Purple Poison was played and Magicians were played, this card is so inherently broken. I use Pen Call to search Purple Poison. Normal summon Purple Poison. Attack into Vanity Ruler. Vanity Ruler gets destroyed. Oh, you would like to negate and destroy it with Herald of Orange Light? No problem, bro. You waste your Herald of Orange Light. This card, not Purple Poison, would be negated and destroyed. But since it's destroyed, Purple Poison's effect will then trigger again, going from the uh, banner, the extra, extra face, uh, the extra, uh, instead of going to face up extra deck, it goes to the graveyard and it gets destroyed again because Herald, Herald destroys that Purple Poison. So now, even though it negated the first effect of Purple Poison to destroy the Vanity Ruler, it gets destroyed by Herald's own effect. So then its effect will trigger again to destroy the Vanity Ruler again and waste the, van the Herald in your opponent's hand. And it's been so long since Pearl Poison was played that that uh, trick will work against 90% of players today because they forgot how broken this card actually is. So Pearl Poison is a one card way to destroy the entire Drytron strategy. So that's a beautiful beautiful part of this deck is that on top of your, your, in your main deck, you have seven outs to Drytron going first on top of the thousand ways to stop them post side deck. So it's a huge reason why you play this deck. Another cool thing is that, remember I brought up the Satellar Knight, Zephyr Thubin? This card can do so much for you. This card is very underrated in the fact that they can clear you any face-up card that you want. So when breaking boards going second, a combination of these, which are searchable, makes it very easy to clear apart boards and before you actually go into any actual combo. And then the other Magician you play is one Celestial Magician. And you just play these two with the harmonizing. So these are not the starters. I want to showcase first off, this deck has 42 starters, bro. And eight cards that are engine requirements, but they're still good to draw. So these are your magicians you play. This is a plus one at the end phase. This is the way to out the Drytron strategy. Then this is the Zephyr engine. Tipping, it's actually not bad to draw Zephyr Nui at all, or, or this is not bad at all. This ensures that going second, you could pop some cards. Also ensures you have another level four, which is whole deck. Pen, all the magicians are level four, search level fours. Even Silver and Demian searches level four. It searches Magical Abductor. You are never going to be able to miss out on a Dweller. Dweller absolutely destroys people. And this, when you put in the cards in the side deck that destroy the meta, like Droll and Lockbird, Dimension Shifter, Lancia against Virtual World, Gamma to stop the VFD, all you have to do after you clear their sorry board is put up a Dweller and you auto win. That's why this deck is actually a very strong meta call. And when it, the Dweller's backed up by your Dryden, when it's backed up by your Mascarena, when it's backed up by your Jackal and Mighty Master, when it's backed up with your Zephyr Divine Strike, how do you lose? It is actually ridiculously powerful. So I do highly advise, test this list out. It's super consistent as well. Yes, it's 50 cards, but the only cards, 42 of them are starters. Eight of them are engine requirements that are actually good to draw that end up being your scale. So again, I want you guys to see this. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I want you guys to see literally like find me one bad card in here. Like they're all such great cards to open. They're so great to open. And yes, you could say, oh, what happens when you draw four Zephyr cards, Triff? 
well, you're playing a 50 card deck. That's why you're playing a 50 card deck. There's there's like there's so many so there's levels to this. I could shuffle this deck a thousand times and 999 times open absolutely broken hand. The reason behind it is that you're playing 50 and not 40. So if you were to play 50, it's all mixed up together. The variance is so much different. It's all shuffled up together. You're not you're you won't draw all magician cards, you won't draw all Zephyr cards, you won't draw four Zodiac cards. They're all different and they all synergize really, really well together. And they all give you all the skills you need. All the Zephyr searchers search you any skill you want. All the magician cards search you any skill you want. The mastery searches you any skill you want, etc. And with so many spell counters in this deck, Abductor searches you any skill you want. They're all searchers and it's absolutely amazing. So that's it for the main deck. Now I'm going to showcase you guys the side deck. Now it's time for the side deck. So we got Triple Drill and Lockbird. We're actually playing lots of hand traps in this side deck. The sole reason that Dimension Shifter is amazing this format, where in comes in now the Dimension Shifter. I don't own them, so these are my proxies for Dimension Shifter. But when you play Triple Dimension Shifter and Triple Drill and Lockbird, these six cards auto kill so many format, so many decks as format, like Drytron. You play these six in conjunction with your with your Purple Poison, your seven Purple Poison, you have 13 ways to destroy Drytron in a 50 card deck. That's some really good ratios. Now, against Virtual World, you have your, again, pardon the proxies. I'm getting them in the mail very soon. But now you have your triple, you have your triple Dimension Shifters and your triple Lancias against Virtual World. And then you throw in triple Gammas as well. Now you have nine ways to stop VFD. Your opponent playing Virtual World must have an absolutely broken head to be able to uh, VFD without Desires, without Qinglong, without the Chuchi Trap card. It is very difficult to do without Lancia or with La while, while they're under Lancia and then when you just Gamma their VFD so they're not gonna if you put scales off what you think they're gonna wait for Gamma no they're scared of Jackal they're not scared of Gamma so what they're gonna do in that situation is that they're gonna just simply uh go into a VFD standby phase and you Gamma them so then when you Gamma them you not only have two free monsters to play with but you also just destroy their whole strategy and destroy them and a cool thing about it, you're playing a 50 card deck, so you're not oversiding by putting in 10 cards. That's why 50 is actually a really cool number for this. And on top of that, this is dual purpose because the Gamma not only stops VFD, but the Gamma actually also stops Droll and Lockbird. So now when you, a lot of people are playing Droll and Lockbird because of Drytron, so now you have plenty of that. And if any deck doesn't get hurt by these in this specific meta, Dimension Shifter, Lancia, Droll and Lockbird, uh, Gamma, if any deck this specific format doesn't get hurt by those and stops their turn, this format, with the exception of Pendulum because it's the best deck, they all they all suck. What else is there in this format that doesn't get hurt by those cards? Those are 13. And then when you ask Trip, what about you know, the back row decks? Let me tell you the best way to stop back row. By playing stuff that you search in your deck to destroy them. Like Purple Poison, searchable by 7 cards. Archfiend Eccentric, searchable by 4 cards. Satellar Knight, Zephraxitin, searchable by 10 cards. The other level 4 Zephra, searchable by also 10 cards. Then when you combine these with your purple poison and all your ways to search into these back row hate cards, back row becomes the easiest way to, the easiest win ever. Combine that with Mighty Master, like what's your opponent going to do? What traps are your opponent going to do? What about the hand traps your opponent is going to try and do? Ghost Spell, Skullmeister, DD Crow. There is no actual deck you're scared of by playing this deck. It's literally meta proof. All hand traps this format, with the exception of Ash and Crow. Uh, sorry, Ash and, and uh, Droll are, are bad against this, but only people only side Droll, and Ash still doesn't do fuck all. So that is the side deck, and man, I absolutely love this deck. I cannot wait for my souls to come in and my D shifters, and I'm gonna go take this deck to locals and show how good it actually is. Extra deck, you play one Crowley. One Mascarena, one Unicorn. I will be showcasing a combo tutorial of this deck on Patreon. So you gotta go check that out. Showcasing why Mascarena is important. Most combos end on Mascarena, Dryden, Dweller, Jackal, Divine Strike. So any combination of it really Dweller Pass is enough to win. But any combination of this is just enough to, to win against uh, any three of those five are enough to win against this meta. But I do advise Mascarena Unicorn is very important. Uh, next, you just play one Selene, one Axis Code. This is just for OTK going second. You don't use Selene in your opening hand unless you have Magician Souls, and the Magician Souls isn't really that important. The whole strategy here is to go Dweller, backed up by Interruptions, 
So I'd rather just save this link for going second. You, you just don't need it for how this deck is built. Next, the proxy of Cyframe Lambda and Cyframe Omega. Uh, when you put in the Gammas to stop Droll and Lockbird going first, uh, you could do a cool play. Let's say Dweller doesn't hurt the deck. You could go into Omega uh, while Lambda's in the field and search Gamma at the end phase and banish a card in, the, in your hand. So it's pretty solid strategy to have that in your deck. Then you also have one Dweller, uh, one Time Star. The deck is literally just based on Dweller Time Star just to search souls. If you don't want to play souls, don't play Time Star. Dweller is literally the whole purpose of this deck. I, it's a gold Dweller, I don't care. Pen best deck, let's go. Next, the Zodiac Engine. So as I said earlier, the strategy is you go Dryden't, pop a card you don't care about, Chaka 9, special back to Dryden't, Tiger Mortar, put a material under the Dryden't, and then you link this Tiger Mortar with a random card like a, the, Zephra, the Zephyr Nui into a Mascarena. And then with the, so once you go into the Mascarena with these, because so you go into with the Zephyr and this, and then you go into a Dweller, with your harmonizing magician and then you have a divine strike set there's just an auto win against any deck and that's like that all you need for that is just a magician card a zephyr card and a zodiac card and like that's just three cards easy so uh it's very easy to do it really is that's, that's the typical board uh anyways and then it also leaves in your extra deck it leaves enough space for the following turn to go into borbo and a one material zeus at the end and then going second you can go into a four material zeus you don't utilize that Dryden combo. So you still have access because then the, the Zodiac monster will be under the Zeus. So going second, you can still Zeus just in case you want. Uh, and then lastly, one gravity controller, uh, just because sometimes you don't have enough to link material with and you just want to get rid of the Zephyr Nui. That is the deck profile, boys. I think this deck's absolutely insane. Go, I'm going to go post right now the comment tutorial on Patreon. Just want to go check it out. Go check it out. And all my streams, I will be using this deck a lot when all my uh, other cards, all those proxies, when they come in, I'll be using this in tournaments online, as well as a Union Carry combo. I think they're both insanely good, and we'll see which one's the best when I use them a lot on tourneys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to get your beautiful trip game payment on tripgaming.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!